Today we're going to talk about something that you see both in big Hollywood studio pictures and low-budget independent productions. In the low-budget indies, most people know this practice as being deferred payment. Generally, you'll see this a lot when productions are looking for cast and crew, and they want to give people the incentive of a paycheck to sign up, but they can't really afford that, so they go on the promise that you'll be paid at a later time. Now, this practice is known as giving out net points. Basically, a producer will promise a cast or crew member that they will get a certain percentage of the net profits of a film after distribution. Now, to someone who doesn't understand how the accounting works or what net profits means, this can sound like a lot of money, especially if the film looks like it could do really well. However, to people who are savvy as to what net points actually means, we know it basically means you're doing volunteer work. This is true no matter what type of budget the film has. And the simple reason for it is net profits are basically what the production company makes as a profit after all the other expenses are paid. And it's very easy for a film to have a lot more expenses than you might initially think. This can get really aggravating to people who have gone on a net point system if they happen to see that the movie is doing well. For example, if you happen to see that movie in a movie theater, you're going to correctly assume that it got a really good distribution deal. And to most people, a big distribution deal means money. So you might have been waiting for that check to come in that you're pretty sure was going to happen since you've seen the film both in the movie theaters and now on premium channels. But you go to the producers and they tell you that it bombed and that there's no money available, that they didn't make a cent. To a lot of people, this is going to sound like complete bullshit, and when it comes to the bigger budgeted Hollywood productions, they're usually right about that. Big budget films are notorious for what is known as Hollywood accounting. There's a couple different ways that this is done, but what it basically boils down to is that a film can make millions of dollars, but they'll find a way to give it blown out of proportion expenses in order to make it look like that they've made no money on it at all. It would take too long for me to explain all the details on how this could be done, but it serves to mention that a lot of blockbuster Hollywood films report having no profit. Using the net point system is a trick that producers have been using for decades. And when they prey upon people who don't understand the business side of the industry, or who don't have decent agents or lawyers, they can bleed an actor or a crew person along for several movies. Especially if they talk up how the sequels will always make more than the originals which is usually true, but not when you're applying Hollywood accounting. Now, when it comes to the independent films, it can be harder to detect whether or not a film has made any money. If you see it on some of the streaming channels, or even some of the better-known outlets that have millions of titles, if you see it buried deeply in that catalog, or if you actually have to do a search to find it after looking through several dozen pages, chances are that movie isn't making much of anything. And you're pretty safe to assume that you're not getting screwed on that deal. However, if you happen to see it on one of the higher-end premium channels, and it's being showcased as being something that's hot or something that's very popular, that's a little bit of a different story. Films that are highly watched are generally rewarded with nice bonuses, and they generally make a lot more than the films that are buried deep within their catalog of millions. Now, some people might think that the easy solution to this is to just demand gross points instead of net points. You're going to end up with two different answers about that, depending on how honest the producer is. 
A producer that expects that he's sitting on a gold mine and doesn't have any intention of sharing that with his people will simply find somebody who won't ask for the gross points. However, a more honest producer, and especially in the low budget circuit, will tell you exactly why they're not offering gross points. And if they're very savvy to the game, they're probably not offering net points either. And they usually don't have a problem explaining it to you. You see, a low-budget film, even one that's showcased on page 53 of a well-known catalog, might only be making about one or two cents per view. So even a film that gets 10,000 views in a year is making the equivalent of 10,000 pennies. Split that among a cast and crew, and the paycheck is pretty much insulting. Another way that people try to ensure that they're going to get their deferred pay is by putting things into ironclad contracts. These contracts are usually only good for up to a few years. Now, one of the risks of them, and this holds true both with Hollywood and independence, is that you never know, and there's no way for a producer to predict, if a film's going to actually be a sleeper. Now, a sleeper is something that becomes really popular many years after it's been released. And in a lot of cases, it's usually after the contract has expired. This isn't planned in any way. It's just one of those things that happens. Now, here's the real kicker. When it comes to smaller budget productions, there are two types of producers, and they are extremely hard to tell apart. The first type is the one who genuinely believes that he's going to be able to repay his people with the promised deferred payment, just based off of what the film makes once it's released. In some cases, this might very well happen, but in most, it's not likely to. The other type is the type who knows all too well that it's unlikely for the film to make a whole ton of money, and even if it does, he wants to guarantee that for himself, so he'll offer net points and make sure that it never shows that he made a profit on paper. If you decide to take a job that offers only points, just remember gross points equals money, net points are monkey points. The better bet is to ask for a low salary up front and then small points in the back. In that way, even if you're only offered the net points, you're still getting something on the front end to show for it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of The Unconnected Filmmaker, and if you found this information useful and want to be notified when the next video premieres, just hit that subscribe button. Or, if you have anything you'd like to see an episode on, feel free to comment below. See you next time, and keep those cameras rolling.